I think one of the ways you keep the lectionary fresh is not feeling uh, restricted to either the gospel or the epistle. Uh, I know some traditions are not as comfortable preaching the Psalms, but I've had a whole season of preaching the Psalms that was in, incredibly uh, important for me and I think our congregation, uh, both in terms of preaching and liturgy and music. Uh, Hebrew scripture doesn't get preached on nearly enough. And so if you see each of the lections as, as possible preaching, primary preaching uh, foci, and then each of them interpreting the other, uh, I, th I think there is a, a richness that comes with that. Uh, I've been working on a, a series with uh, Barbara Brown Taylor and David Bartlett as an editor for the last three years called Feasting on the Word. And, and the theory of this, uh, th of this series is that for each of the four lections for every, for every Sunday, there are four 1,000-word essays from a theological, an ex exegetical, a homiletical, and a pastoral perspective. So I think there are some resources out there that help the preacher keep fresh and push the preacher to think beyond where she or he is at uh, any particular moment, engaging that text again for the second time or the third time or the fifth time. But also to realize that as life changes and as life experiences changes, the way I read that text and the way that text reads me is quite different at age 55 than at age 35. And I suspect it'll be quite different at age 75. So trusting that the text continues to speak in new ways if you're open to that voice.